What's up, slime? 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 Oh, shit. Holla. <laughs> What's up, buddy boy? How's it going, my brother? <laughs> I'm king of all black. I'm big black. <laughs> this ain't Howard's show. This is my motherfucking show. Represent, bro. Back on the mic, it's your two favorite niggas. Big and the king, and they came to handle their business. Big black and the king of the street sweepers. Yeah. I'm 101 and they hotter than heat seat. Nigga. And that's a daggone fact. Yeah. Motherfuckers, this is black on black. You think I get paid to crack this mic cause I'm stupid? I'm brilliant. I'm, I'm brilliant. The most brilliant nigga you ever gonna meet. Welcome to Black on Black on Howard 101. This is Big Black and I'm here along with... King of all blacks. Oh, I had a little technical difficulty. You know, I'm running the board. Sir. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and if you want to give us a call, call us at 888-STERN-101. Right now, we're going to start the show off um, talking about someone who wants to join our um, ranks here. Yeah, he, uh, wants, he wants to be a guest. He's a guest. No, not who wants to be a guest. The guy who wants to be another uh, co-host at um, Howard 101, Captain Jenks, that we spoke to yesterday. He wants to be a co-host. Well, he wants to have his own show oh, on Howard oh, 101. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I see there's been some chatter going on on the, um, the Twitter um, <laughs> universe there w- between you and him. What's been going on? Well, I just, I, I, you know, I just gave him some constructive criticism the other day. I think it was yesterday, last night, or whatever. And um, he told me to keep my name out of his mouth. And I, you know, I didn't understand why he was being so angry with me. I thought we was cool. No, keep his name out of your mouth. Yeah, keep my name out of his mouth. No, keep... keep his name out of your mouth. Keep his name out of my mouth. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Am I, do I got it now? Yeah, I think you uh, got it yeah. now. Yeah. Well, that's what he said. And I, you damn. Know, keep I like, keep damn. his name out your mouth, or yeah. else what? <laughs> that's what I well. I hope he calls in, and he could finish what he was going to do if I don't, because obviously, I'm his name is in my mouth right now. Yeah, Captain Jenks, right? <laughs> yeah. So, um, but why do you think he had that response? Was it something you said negative about him? No, I didn't say anything negative about anybody. I just gave some advice on how to, you know, be successful with the radio show. I mean, I consider myself kind of successful now. Not, you know, financially, but, you know, in popularity, you know. Well, yeah. Let's stick my chest out a little bit. According to the poll on um, Stern Fan Network, we still are definitely not the worst show. Yeah. We're the last place for people who think we're the worst show. Well, I, I mean, I, I love the Stern Fan Network, but I don't use it, you know, for a bar on what the shows are, you know, because they, some of them got ulterior motives. And, you know, the, I just think that we're doing a pretty good job. Not the best job, but pretty good. You know? <laughs> oh, now you're trying to be modest, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not the nah, best nah, well, job. Well, well, what I was saying was, you know, I don't want to rehash anything, but I, you know, I do got to explain what I was saying. I just was saying that when, <clears throat> when you have a, a talent, s- somebody will notice it eventually. You hope, right? But for you to ask somebody for something, it, it cheapens it. That, that's just my opinion. That's all. I, that's all I was saying. That's all I was saying. Well, I think what he got mad about was something about a, being a one-trick pony. I think he said, "What you think I'm a one-trick pony?" I saw that tweet on on on. Um, oh, listen, when I think of uh, uh, phony phone calls or 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 uh, phone pranks, or I just think of Sal and Richard. I really think they are the best I've ever heard at it. I, I really mean that. I'm not kissing ass. I laugh out loud when I hear them. And I think some of those uh, show, uh, some of those phone calls that Captain Jank used to do were brilliant. Brilliant. But. That ship has sailed, I think. Oh, that's the ship sailing by? (laughs) (laughs) Wow, high production values tonight, huh? (laughs) No, no, and it's not, it's not, I'm not cracking on nobody. I'm just saying, you know, don't quit your day job. 
I'm not quitting mine. I'm not quitting my day job. Yeah, we've already done 15 shows. This is our 15th show. Piece of cake. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to do 30,000 more. You know what I'm saying? I'm amped up. But I'm saying we can do that. Yeah, but you know Captain Janks has been. Uh, uh, I'm not. I, obviously, I'm not a one trick pony. And you're not. Well, I guess he feels, well, he's put 20 years of, 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 you know, dedication to the show in, and it's about time that he got something for himself. Like I said before, there's people that work at Sirius XM that have been mopping the floors for 20 years. Should they have a radio show because they were mopping the floors for 20 years? That's, that was my only, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seniority is good at my job where I work because it's a union job. So you move up, you move up, you move up. You know what I'm saying? But this is not a union job here. You got to have the chops, baby. You got to know how to crack the mic. That's all. But both of us agree, though, he should be able to get at least a, absolutely. a, one, a Absol- one-time special. Absolutely. And might be he might be the best at it. I'm dying to hear it. I want to hear it. Because you know what I think? I think even with us, I think when Howard gave us our show, I bet you he thought our show was going to be like a bunch of crap. No, I didn't think he th- Well, if I'm involved in it, I don't think he thought that. But with you, it was a question. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, don't, right. You know. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Yo, no, no, but the way he... You I, made it through the whole week. You made it through the whole week with the same pants. No, I didn't, So I want to applaud you for that. <laughs> or, but, do you, how do you keep the crotch smelling clean? Or you wash them every day? Or how or, do you do that? No, I have a, like a, a set of them, man. <laughs> You got a set of black uh, referee pants or security pants security in your pants. closet. Right. And you hang them on a the hanger? That's right. <laughs> oh, man. Go ahead. <laughs> what did you say? I said. I um, digress. I think that when um, Howard put us down for the show, I think he thought it was going to be something like the Magic Johnson Hour, <laughs> like something that he could just like goof on and play tapes of. Yeah. I don't, I don't really think he thought we was going to do a good job. Yeah, but, you know. And then he found out that it, we actually so have you some do ability. Got, you do have to give people a shot. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You do got, have to give people a shot. I think it would be funny if you give, yeah, you got to give people a shot. I was going to say something, but nah, <laughs> nah. Just give, you know. But I want to be in on the meeting on on on, on the decision. I think, I, I think I've been here a long time, too. I've been doing the House Stern Show for a long time, too. Right. So yeah. that means? I should be in on the meeting <laughs> if we should give him a radio show or not. Don't you think? Well, just like you said about him getting a show. Who says that you have executive um, abilities? No, I don't have executive abilities. I have the ability to to uh, uh, notice talent or if something is good. I do. I do. Well, I guess we have to ask Howard if he feels the same way. Maybe he'll put you on I there. used to want to work at a record company because, like, I used to want oh, to listen no. to tapes. Like, or, or, or tapes, you know. I'm an old head, but CDs to see if people have talent. You know, everybody can't rap. Everybody can't sing. I wanted to do that. So you think you can have... I'm good at that. Mm. Well, I I'm Andrew Dextrous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, this morning, I went to the uh, the drugstore, right? And I, I'm walking in there, and I, somebody had broke some... It was some type of elixir, liquid or something, and it broke. So, you know, I walked around it, whatever, and I got my medication, whatever. So... <clears throat> The owner or whoever, you know, the maintenance person kept walking past it, walking past it. So when I came back, I forgot that it was there because I was, it was like a little line in it. So I slipped in that shit. Slipped. Fuck, my ankle is still hurting from this morning. It was about nine o'clock this morning and it's getting worse. How come you walked on it? You should have stayed home. No, I'm not going to stay home. I'm saying it hurt. it's hurting now. It wasn't hurting as much then. Oh, okay. And I told him about it. So I'm thinking about, you know, thinking about some, uh, thinking about getting a lawyer. Really? You wow. think I could win that case? It all depends on, like, what um, other I'm not saw. doing it for the money, you know. They, they should have cleaned it up. It's, it's the principle of the, you know. You sound like one of those people I see on TV. <laughs> When no one's looking there, it's like lay down and spill some on their own. I didn't do all of that because, you know, well, they did ask me, was I all right? And, you know, and you know what that is. That's the setup. It's, it, you're so not what did you say? say I, said, I said, I don't know. Did they take your know. name down? Yeah, they took my name down. I, no, I gave them my name. Oh, you gave them your name yeah. and address, phone number, all that shit? Yeah, and they looked like they was kind of mad at me. And I've been going there for years. I said, well, hey. You sure ankle. you ain't trying to pull some kind of scam, man? No, nah, my ankle's hurting. I went to the doctor. Actually, you ever see those people on the news though? They pull the scan, they like yeah, lay down. That's that's terrible. Yeah, yeah. Do that. No, it's taking advantage of the system. 
<laughs> yeah, but after you took your friends, your man sixty dollars yesterday, I'm thinking you, you. I don't know what I can't put nothing past you, man. No, I, I felt bad. But I, 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 yeah, I, I, what are you gonna do? That, that was yesterday. Yesterday is like my ass. It's in the back. Oh, okay. <laughs> so today you're gonna make some big money, right? Sixty dollars ain't shit. How much you think I can get for that? For, for um, my ankle. Oh man, you got like twenty five thousand maybe. Somewhere like five figures. Yeah. Probably, yeah. It's hurting, too. Depending on what the doctor says. If you have to have be, um, sit up in the hospital for a couple of days, you know, that's serious stuff. Well, yeah. well I went to a, yeah. Well. But if you're walking around on it, then I don't know. Well, what do you want me to do? <laughs> I mean, it's not, I, I, you know. Yeah, I got you. I'm not, it's not, I don't think it's broke, but it is hurting. When I just walked to get some ice, man, I was like, damn, shit hurting. So, we'll see what's up. Let me ask you a question about Metro Cards. Yeah. Now, we, we've we been working this show for um, five days this week, and every time you got to take a Metro card to get in and a Metro card to go back home. But yet, you refuse to buy a Metro card that has like 10 trips on it. You you insist on buying a Metro card when you go in and when you come out, go in, come out. What, what's your deal with that? Because I, I, I thought that it would expire. Yeah, but you see me. I have a Metro card. I used to say Metro card. I just swipe it in. You never see me go to the, to the ticket booth and buy a Metro card. I so, know. So why, why wouldn't you think, oh, Big Black's doing that? Maybe I could just do the same thing and well, save I time. I don't, I don't ever want to follow you. Yeah, but, no, but it does make sense. It does make sense. It's just like paying cash at the toll. I finally got Easy Pass. I used to pay $8 all the time. Yeah. So I got Easy Pass. But what the Metro card, though, you just, you just don't, you refuse to do it, though, huh? No, I'm not refusing. This is the, this is our last night up here. <laughs> and I'm going to get a Metro card because hopefully we're coming back. <laughs> Jim, Jim looked away like, nigga, you ain't coming back here. <laughs> he looked away when I looked at him. Well, actually, he did tell me when we coming back. No, I mean, oh, okay. On the 31st, we're going to be coming back to uh, replace the um, intern show. So um, we are going to be coming back, yeah. The but, 31st of August? Yeah, last day of the month. You sure it's not the 32nd? The 32nd? <laughs> oh, 32nd Oh, that's right. August. The August is the one month that has 32 days. You're right. It might be the 32nd. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Now, August 31st is true? That's true? The, ask the white man right there, man. He's right there. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> you, know, you know when they say something is true. <laughs> all right. Have so, you ever noticed I, I looked at TV shows? I, I was watching TV shows, and they always make the white person, even in commercials, they make the white person the buffoon and the black person is the straight, is the smart guy. You ever notice that on the commercials? No, I never noticed you that. You ever notice that, Jim? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said that shit quick. <laughs> yeah, well, you did notice that, right? It's always like the black, the like, white guy is the goofy guy. Give me an example of um, a commercial you have in mind about that. It, it's a bunch of them. It's like a formula. It's like 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 having the uh, fat white guy and the and the pretty white chick on these uh, sitcoms. It's like a formula. They have to do that for some reason. It's to calm people down because they don't want to they don't want to have the black person be the buffoon because they might get you know, they might get letters written to them. So they do the opposite. Now if I was white, I would write a letter and say, Why are you making the white people buffoons? Yeah. Why can't just everybody be regular? You know what I'm saying? But I guess they figure they have like a racial thing. If, or if a black person's a, a, a fool on the commercial, then all oh, people are going to write in and complain. So. Exactly. Just like uh, that movie, um, The Help. You know what I'm saying? I went and saw it. I'm not going to tell you about it, but I went and saw it. This morning? This morning. Snuck right in. <laughs> Snuck right in the fucking theater. It's crazy. And it was a family. It was a family. And I started to tell them. Seemed like a nice dude, and he had two kids and two older ladies with him. Young dude. So I imagine it was his mother or whatever. I started to tell him, don't buy the tickets. Just walk in. But, you know, I didn't know him. You know what I'm saying? And because there's nobody there at the, uh, what do you call the first show? No. The matinee? The matinee. Yeah, the matinee. <laughs> and um, there's nobody there to take the tickets. There's Always. nobody there to take the tickets for the matinee. Yes, Lowe's Richfield. <laughs> you gonna blow up this spot like that, bro? <laughs> They're gonna put somebody there if you keep blowing them up. <laughs> but 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 you know, I I always walk in, and he buys the tickets. You know, that must have been what twelve times. You know, for the whole family or whatever. Easy. Yeah. 
So he buys the he buys the tickets, and I wait for him because I want to see his face when he sees there's nobody to give the tickets to. So I'm waiting. So I I see him. So I start walking, and I looked at this son of a bitch. He was looking around to give somebody the ticket, and then he walked in. He was so fucking mad. <laughs> you should have said, "See." No, I should have told him. I should have pulled him in the side and said, "Yo, don't pay." So but then he would look at me like, "Oh, you niggas always don't want to. You always trying to get over on the government." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he don't want to follow your lead. He's yeah, figure yeah, you yeah, end up in jail or some shit. Yeah, yeah. So what was the movie any good? It's like a no. racial movie, right? Black and white shit. It was the same old, you know, you know, the white woman gonna help these these uh, maids out. It was a good movie though. It was good, but it was it, I already knew what it was gonna be. It didn't surprise me. So does the help mean the white woman helping out the black? Or <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. The help, <laughs> the white woman was helping these uh, black ladies. Uh, um, get their uh, backbone, if you will. Wow. Yeah, it was a good movie, though. But I've seen it. I've seen it a million times. Was there any hot chicks in it? No. No. Damn, stop digging in your nose, bro. <laughs> That's some cocaine, <laughs> my fucking yeah, sure. It's Friday, nigga. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, gotta get some, I gotta get some new parts after the show. <laughs> let me, oh, let me ask a question. In New York City, do you think the average white guy could beat the average black girl? The average? What? Say that again? In New York City, could the average black girl walking around in New York City beat the average white guy, let's say the same age? Uh, or the average white guy would beat the average black girl? No, nah, I think, uh, well, it depends who the black girl is. Because they got someone, like them two girls on the phone last <laughs> night, I think they'll whip a motherfucker ass, man. But I'm talking about in general, what do you think? Hmm. I mean, it's there's a lot, of, a lot of criteria to go with that. Where they from, where the white guy's from. If they from fucking where I live, Lodi, they're going to whip somebody ass. No, I'm talking about New York City, like if you're riding on the subway. I think the average black girl will give them a run for their money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Because they waiting for something to jump off. You know what I'm saying? Black girls is always waiting for something to jump off. I think a black woman like like um lionesses, you know, like they're like real tough. Like <laughs> They don't like you to talk to them either. Yeah. Like if they're, they're, if like I'm black and I see a black girl coming towards me, she give me that eyes like, motherfucker, don't you say shit to me. I don't know why, where that comes from. I don't know what it is because any other race of girls, they smile, they do, but a black girl be looking at me like, nigga, I know you're going to leave me with these motherfucking kids. So don't start this shit. <laughs> don't say hello to me. Don't say shit to me. You know, you know, my Facebook page, they had a, um, someone put an article about interracial um, dating, and it said black women are the, the group that's least desired of all the groups, like were the races. That's I mean, fucked up. Why we always last? No, not we, just what, black women. Yeah. No one wants black women, but um, it's like, if you're like, look at you, you married a Spanish No, chick. no, no, that's not, that's, listen, I, I would love, <laughs> oh, okay, love okay. to be with a black woman. Yeah. Are you stupid? <laughs> But I, I've been with them before. <laughs> you I would have. love to, but no, because I did, but you we didn't, just didn't right? gel. Because I have certain, I'm I'm a horny dude, and the girls that I was with, the black women that I w was with, they weren't, they not, they not weren't horny like. It's always, not it was horny. always work to get some ass. It was work always, huh? Like, oh, come on, get it over with. Shit, they were all like that. I, yes, but your wife was 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 oh, willing. Man. Come on, man, legs akimbo. <laughs> to this day. So how how long were you going with your wife before you got married? Like three years. Three years. Yeah. Damn. Wait a minute. Now you told me you got married when your wife was eighteen. Yeah. So you were like thirty messing with a fifteen. No, year old no, girl? no, 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 no. Damn, I didn't get man, married to her when predator. Yeah, you, I didn't get. You know, I don't even remember all that shit. <laughs> I know she was a very. Young girl of legal age. <laughs> oh, no. She was of nah. legal age. Yesterday you told she me, had a period. Yesterday you told me so I, I got know she was of no. legal age. Yesterday you said my wife was eighteen when we got married. So if you messed with her for three years before that, that no, means she was fifteen no, when you messed with her. No, no. no what? No. no. Eighteen minus Listen, three is fifteen. I didn't have sex with my wife until the night we got married. Oh, okay now. <laughs> Damn, you one of them child predators no, motherfuckers, no, man. No, Look at you, man. No. no. She what do you know? Don't keep saying no, no, she had, no. She had ponytails for real. <laughs> Big tails. No. Okay, so and, you, a, and a Catholic skirt. So you drive around in Spanish Hall and you saw the nice 15-year-old girl and you're like, hey, little girl, get in my car. No. 
Little girl get in my car. She wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. You were 30 and she was 15. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. You got the ages mixed up. <laughs> you oh, do. Okay, okay. Yes, I'm not going to tell you my wife's real age. Oh. Let's put it that way. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All that yeah, shit. yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> that pussy was tight too. Uh, uh, I mean, needed a vice grip to get in that shit. <laughs> I said, "Damn, damn. Has anybody ever been up in this ass?" That's why you always def defending people who mess with young girls. I'm like, why is he always defending people who mess with young girls? I man, don't defend. Oh man, I don't defend people. There is a legal age. <laughs> I know there's a legal age. There's a legal age, and if you're 70 years old and you're messing with somebody, if the legal age is 16. It's cool. But it's you, you're in favor of going all the way to exactly the legal age, as low as you could possibly go with a female. Well, don't you? When you go buy a, uh, any type of item, don't you try to get the lowest price? That's a whole different story, <laughs> man. <laughs> I, to, I don't know what the fuck that meant. But, you, you know, you try to, I mean, who wants, don't you want a young girl? Dude, but you try to get as young as you can, though. Of legal age. <laughs> I know, legally, you okay. go as young as you can, yeah, though. Yeah, of legal age. <laughs> of legal age. Don't, don't, don't get it twisted. Okay, but I'm just subtracting. My mother told me that. I'm subtracting three from 18, so I, you know, maybe I'm a no, you, you have First of all, you have my wife's age wrong. Oh, okay. I'm just going by what you told me yesterday. I'm oh. sorry, Dan. I, I, I didn't lie. I probably forgot because I don't, I, I really <laughs> don't want to lie on these microphones, yeah. but I, I, I might, maybe you, uh, maybe you got it wrong. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, let's slide at that. Yeah. Let's, let's take a phone call, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I got a flop sweat. <laughs> Okay. Oh, uh, we got a big guest, too, tonight. A huge guest. A huge guest? In the 9 o'clock hour. I'm talking about huge. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so stay, stay tuned for that. Okay. Let's go to our first call from um, Canada, Matt from Montreal. What's up, Matt? Yeah, hey, guys. Hey, uh, just before I get to my... I have a quiz for you, uh, Big Black, about Star Trek. Can I just ask, King, have you ever been pissed on by an underage woman before? No. No. Are you sure? I don't mess with underage girls. Never did. Like when your wife, when you first met your wife, though, did she ever piss on you before she turned 18? No. She wasn't underage <laughs> when I met my wife. Who's okay. this? What is this, Detective Honky? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What is, I mean, I'm not, this is, I, when I met my wife, she was of legal age. Okay. Oh, that's good. I just thought it was a real and I And I didn't tell her, I didn't introduce her to to urination or golden showers too. We were well acquainted, and she was of legal age. And right? she thought I was a nut. <laughs> she said, "What the yeah, fuck is wrong with you?" <laughs> and I, she was like, "Why is he making me drink all this beer and liquid?" <laughs> That's weird, man. <laughs> oh my god! And as soon as she says, "I gotta go to the bathroom," I shit, man. I shit. I knew that was the girl for me when she said, "I gotta go to the bathroom." I said, "What? What happened? What do you gotta do?" I have to pee. I said, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was in heaven. And then, and then what? Huh? And then what? <laughs> and then she went. To, she went in the bath because you know after you drink beer, if you drink a lot of water, no, 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 no listen. I'm saying what happened with her? I will tell you, if you drink a lot of water, the yeah. piss is not as hard. I'll tell you what okay, happened. Okay, yeah, I know. She went into my oh. bathroom, so she was drinking a lot of beer. So she went into the bathroom, and I was listening by the door for the stream, and it was heavy. It was like, <laughs> I was like. I wish I was jealous of the toilet. Yeah, but how did you get her to do it on well, you then? Huh? How did you get her to do well, it? Oh, that on was you? a long time. Or oh, another after time after that? Oh, long time. Oh, on, okay. Man. That's not something you. That's not something you spring on somebody right away. No, right. you, you you should ever do. That's that's not. You should never have anyone pissing on you. Yeah, because you don't like it. Why are you so selfish? <laughs> I'm so I'm so. Yeah, right. I mean, if you, okay. you, you you're telling me that I shouldn't do it because you don't like it. That's selfish. Uh, Matt, let me ask you, how long is this quiz? Uh, well, I just got a couple questions. Like, you're, you're always talking about Star Trek Big Black. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. So I was just wondering, do you consider yourself like a pretty knowledgeable fan? I've got a couple of quiz questions off the internet. Well, only the original series. Uh, I think this is original series. Okay, so question one. What disease did Kirk infect O'Donnell with in the mark of Gidgen? Capharia wow. virus, vegan choriomangitis, or Tollian fever? Calling in fever. Okay. Please, no, no hints, Lou. I can handle this one. Ah, that's good. <laughs> that was actually wrong. It was, it was the first one. Oh, okay. Lou, Lou, we didn't. Eat. Thanks, Lou. See, Lou gave me the wrong answer, okay. man. <laughs> okay, what, what words did the Horda burn into the rock 
the devil in the dark. Number one, no hurt one, no kill one, kill not one. Damn, man, this shit is too intense. Do you know Star Trek? I mean, I, I haven't watched him in 20 years, but uh, I'll say number I'll say uh, number two. No kill one? Yeah. Holy shit, you got that right. Way to go, kid. Big buck. Okay, number three. What was the first inhabited world encountered by Terran explorers? Alpha Centauri, Marcos uh, 12, or Rigel 2? A, Alpha Centauri. You are correct. Holy fuck, you're a nerd. Uh, what is the big awakening? Wait, wait a minute, how many questions do you have? Well, I've got as many as you want. I'm just no, oh, because we got to go to a break in a minute. <laughs> we don't have all the time. You're, you're pretty nerdy, Big Block. That was incredibly nerdy to know that shit. Thank you. So I passed the test then, huh? At what? least you're not getting pissed on. What, what can you say? Yeah, he can't. <laughs> yeah. Be, he, he'll never be that lucky. <laughs> okay, good show, guys. All right, thank you for proving once again I am a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think it's about time for our first break. Boop, boop. Well, the boat has sailed again. So you can call us at 888 Stern 101, and we'll be back with more Black on Black on Howard 101. Welcome back to Black on Black. King, if people want to reach you on Twitter, how do they do that? <laughs> I asked the king. Oh, okay. And uh, me, you can also reach me at The Real Big Black. Either on Twitter or YouTube, you can see my three million dollar. I mean, my three million hit um, um, video of Justin Bieber. Did what, did you get a new phone so you can tweet? Nah, I still got the same old flip phone. No, did your phone flip open? Well, they got a BlackBerry that flips open. Oh, so that oh, that's acceptable to you. Then. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's wide. You know, it's a BlackBerry, but it flips on. My daughter got one. Oh, okay. Maybe I'll look into that. Yeah, because well, people want you to tweet. People say, "Why the fuck is you know?" Why don't why don't I tweet? Yeah. Well, because man, I don't want to. The, the reason, the same reason, I stay in my house all the time. I don't want to have relationships with people. Like I see you on Twitter, you are always like, "Hey, what's happening, man?" The same guys, you be getting a friendship with them. And I don't want that. That's why I don't like to tweet because people are, 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 are trying to be regulars and try to get in my inner circle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I want to keep everybody away from me. Why? I don't get that. Because see, I, I somewhat understand it. But I, I those don't you you real adamant about that? Well, you know what it is. I always felt in my life that I was going to be a big superstar, and I didn't want people to Doing get in on the ground level. Doing what? Something. Come on. For real, and I didn't want people to get in on the ground level. I want to keep it, people at distance so that way I can you know, control my whole situation. Now I don't like people to come to my house unannounced. I don't like. I don't like that. That's oh god. Something happened recently like that? No. Oh. that's just something. See that's that's what that's gives me, a no no. That gives me palpitations when I hear my door my doorbell. Yeah, I like, agree oh, with you with that. I'm mean, like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> One time I was I was upstairs in my bedroom, and um, this guy he came to my house and he likes to talk a lot, and um, I, I I peeked because he 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 looks at all the shades and sees any <laughs> trembling because he knows that I do that right. So I I peeked I peeked at, you know I I got them uh, blinds the uh, Horizontal. Oh, I just, I just said, I look, and that motherfucker's eye was right there. He said, "Yo," <laughs> I said, "You <laughs> motherfucker!" Right, his eye was right there, right there when I peeked. That's like some shit out of a, a horror yeah, movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he came in. That motherfucker wouldn't leave. He left an ass print in the fucking couch. That <laughs> motherfucker ain't leave. He I talk said, even more than you, then. He huh? could talk because you talk a lot too. Yeah, I talk a lot, but well, he can talk. I mean about nothing. I mean you ever you ever ran to somebody that talk a lot and have nothing in their head? Yeah. Pretty much saying. pretty much everything I say is interesting. <laughs> but him, that motherfucker it sounds like it sounds like nothing. You fuck him. <laughs> but though that's the worst feeling. When he what? leaves, I gotta sharpen my brain back up. <laughs> but um yeah, I know what you mean. Whenever I hear that my doorbell ring, I, I get like shakes and my shit. My brain is like a knife. Yeah, like yeah, it gets dull. It gets okay, dull. Right. When it gets dull, I got to sharpen it back up. Oh, okay. So how do you do that then? Huh? How do you wait till the up? morning. Oh, you got to take a nap yeah, or something? Yeah, yeah. I get rejuvenated in the morning. Uh, okay. Yeah, I got a call for you. Um, Aaron in Texas. What's up, Aaron? Oh, let me click that again. What the fuck? Yo, man, what the fuck you doing? That's that sign that movie Slice. Don't tell me you're hitting a bong. Ah, Don't start on. coughing and shit. Damn. He, he must have just got out of jail hitting a fucking bong. 
Everybody's got a bit, man. Just just call in and talk. Shit. All right, let's go to another fake fake comedian. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's he go. wants a radio show too. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the God of Thunder, Thor, in Minnesota. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, Big Black. Where did you go for a decade? I mean, you weren't on the show for a decade or something. Well, actually, five oh. years. I was in the South Bronx, man. Actually, yeah, couldn't you afford a phone? Couldn't you afford Sirius? No, I've called in. Even during that time, I called in, but they would put me on hold and they wouldn't pick me up. <laughs> you know why? Because you didn't yeah, say anything got interesting. Through. What's that? King got through, though. You never got through? Yeah, but you got to be on. like an ass kisser to get through. An ass kisser? You know, King, oh, King Marianne, well, they, Bobo, no, no, no. You, wait, all three wait, of them get on every day. lumps me in. That's because you're shit. the three ones that get on every yeah, day. Yeah, because but, but what I'm saying... My questions are interesting when I call in. You would, I think they are. But you would say, or else I wouldn't call in. You would say, Howard, I love you, man. And that's how you end every call. But I don't start. They start the phone call like that. Oh, okay. Hey, I love you. I, uh, listen, I'm hey, just going to ask you a question. Hey, King, <laughs> what kind of phone do you have? What's the right kind of phone? What kind of phone do you have? I got the uh, Android Galaxy S. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with I heard more hot chicks, hurt chicks like an iPhone more. You think that's true? Yeah, I think I'm gonna get an iPhone. I'm gonna get the white joint, the white iPhone. Chicks like the iPhone better. Yeah, they do also like black chicks can totally kick white guys' asses in New York City. No question. <laughs> I think so too. Ninety nine percent, ninety nine percent. No think, question. I seen some on the subway that yo, I said, God yeah. damn, that bitch will probably yeah. fucks with my. Yo. And like you said, those those two girls that called in yesterday, you know, they can. I kick seen a ass. lot of dangling too in the subway when I on the yeah, way they, here. Dick Chuck kicked Chuck Zito's ass, those girls I called in yesterday. <laughs> so. uh, what do you mean dangling? Like a lot of people, like I seen some girls dangling their shoes. Oh, uh, God. Was what the the fuck? They was That's, dangling. You got it some inside lot, language about feet was a lot of dangling. <laughs> that is weird, man. It's almost over, though. It's almost fall. So all that dangling and all that feet shit is going to be gone for the summer, for the, you know, for the winter. Maybe she moved down to Florida for a little while. Oh, man. Feet heaven. Florida. Hey, Thor. Yeah. Why do you call yourself Thor? My name. That's your, yeah, that's, that's your government name? Yeah. Your government? Government name? <laughs> yeah. Thor. What is your parents, like a, a big Marvel Comics fan? No, man. It's a Scandinavian name. It's a what? Yeah. It's a Scandinavian name. That's a, that's a regular know. name in Scandinavia? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure. There's lots of people named Thor. How do oh, you spell shit. it? T-H-O-R. And a lot of those Scandinavians came to Minnesota, you know. So. That's crazy. Yeah, because the 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 the, uh, the movie Thor was based on a Scandinavian. Uh, <laughs> no, don't it try, is. Don't try to act like yeah, you know he's going yeah, on. It's, Am it's, I right? It's, 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 yeah, you're right. You it's, didn't know that, dude. It's, I used to read Marvel comics, it's but you didn't on, know it's based on uh, mythology of the Scandinavian people. Okay, yeah, he's a god of thunder. People still use the name. Boy, wow. this guy don't know nothing. Oh, don't you don't even try to front like that, man. God, I don't know nothing. But I just never knew anyone really had the name Thor. So, wow, that's cool. So, how did you feel? When, did you see the movie? Yeah, yeah, I did. I thought it was okay. Oh, just I okay. I mean, oh, it's out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't know nothing. Yeah. That movie was out two months ago. I said I want to go at, see it today for free. <laughs> looking at being on girls. Oh. <laughs> so, did you marry? A, are you married? No, I'm single. Oh, okay. How old are you? I'm 33. And you single? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be right there with with uh, Big Black if you were in the studio. He'd make fun of me too. So, <laughs> so, so if you come, you'll drown somebody too. <laughs> if I what? If you came, you would drown somebody too. He's so backed up, you'll drown somebody if you came. Oh, I don't know about that. That's that, that part. That part's not true. But you'd still make fun of me. But yeah, yeah, I just don't have the style like you do. But I have a little more action than Big Black does. So. Yeah, you got a nice voice. Man, y'all, y'all, you know what it is? Y'all be looking for these goddamn fine-ass girls, man. They not there for you. <laughs> I mean, you know, no disrespect. They ain't there for me neither. I just, man, I don't give a fuck, man. I swear to God. I wake up in the morning, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Got to find illegal immigrants. <laughs> Yo, man, I see them at the bus stops. Hey, remember back in the day when it was... <clears throat> like white people and black people at the bus stops going to work and, you know, a couple of Asians thrown in there. Now it's, you don't see no white people going to work and no black people going. All you see is Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> they be at the bus stop. They be on the bus. They be on the trucks. Damn, they they be over. on the construction sites. Remember the Italian dudes used to be on the construction? Hey, yo, baby, Vinny. Yeah. You don't see that shit no more. You see, yo, yo, they, 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 they,
this is like invasion of the body snatcher. <laughs> they, they replacing all the white and black people, huh? Yeah. That's weird. I remember the good old days when we used to fight each other, you know, blacks and white, hey, nigga, you know, and white, white motherfuckers. You don't see that you shit miss, no you more. Miss race, you miss race fights, huh? Yeah, I miss racism. <laughs> I miss it. You miss getting in fights over race, huh? Yo, I used to, I remember we used to walk and shit, you know, see occasional white guy, you know, a car full of white guys. Hey, you fucking nigga. You know, those days are gone, man. Hey, Thor. Those are yeah. the good old days. What's the Mexican situation like up in Minnesota? Uh, not, not too many. Oh, they haven't reached there yet, huh? <laughs> they're up here a little bit. But you know, you know what? It's uh, I mean, some of the people who live here now uh, are freaking out because uh, black people are moving up. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Milwaukee, I, Chicago, I, I, and it's it's fucked up. But they, 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 you hear some crazy shit, you know. But and it's like, why do you think your ancestors came here? They came here for a better life too, you know. So, well, we, but, I, I don't know. It's it's, it's so crazy. We do it too. We black and we do it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If black people move, I want to move. I mean, it's... I've been around black people when Mexicans start moving into the neighborhood. They start freaking out. Man. That's true. Oh, and they took yeah. over baseball too. The Mexicans, <laughs> Spanish, they, they everywhere. Remember now, you know, baseball was white. Man, oh, yeah. but... shit, that was a white boy shit. Hey, hey, you Sal, you want to go to the fucking game? You know, now it's just Spanish dudes on the fucking mound. And they just was playing, they was, they just was molding dirt balls in Dominican Republic. And now they're here playing baseball. It's crazy. Hey, hey, King, King, I know you're a big fan of Spanish girls, but is there any particular kind of Spanish girls that you're a fan of? I mean, obviously, whatever your wife is. But then, like, do you like Puerto Rican girls, Dominican girls, Colombian girls? What do you like better? And who's, who's worse? What's the, what's the scale? Well, my my wife's Puerto Rican. I like I like I like Puerto Rican girls, but they tend to be like real like jealous. Like they're very jealous. Like they got low, and I like a girl with low self esteem. Don't get me wrong, <laughs> I love that shit. But they no, really man. are fucking jealous. But what about looks? And wise? they and they be pretty too. Looks look wise. Look wise. I like them kind of dark. Like, no no Puerto Ricans are they the best or Dominicans? Mm. I think Mexicans. Dominicans. No, not Mexicans. <laughs> they face yeah. is too flat. <laughs> uh, then they too short. We never could see eye to eye. You get it? <laughs> no, but but uh, Dominican girls have that dark skin. You know what I'm saying? You know, when they wear yeah. their makeup, it pops out. But yeah. Puerto Ricans, they good too. But I like a little darker. I don't like them too light skin. I like a little tan like. I love a tan. You know, I really, um, and she's an old chick, Jennifer Lopez, man. God damn. I've seen her in person. Yo, if I was, remember she was, in, well, when she's, um, she does American Idol. Yeah. I would like to go under that fucking table and put my head right up on her fucking dress. <laughs> <laughs> big, black you saw in, big black you saw her in person, did you see her feet? Oh, I didn't pay attention to her feet. Who? Uh, I was extra in the movie Made in Manhattan. Oh, she was fine as hell in that movie. And I, I did a scene with her and the guy who's in Teen Wolf. We did a scene together. Mm, so really? If were, yeah, if you rent that movie, the scene where the little kid's um, giving his um, audition or whatever at some kind of stage, I was in that scene. So you, you can check me out. But it must be tough being a, uh, like, a, well, I wouldn't know, but I, I imagine it'd be tough being a pretty girl. You know what I'm saying? Because eventually you're going to get old. Yeah, you know what I'm saying I'm glad it happens too. Yeah, fuck you. you I bitch. mean, to be an ugly girl or average girl is probably better. You know what I'm saying? Because I love you know, when pretty girls I, get old. I, yeah, because I know this. It's a real pretty girl that lives where I live. I, I think she's half black or half white. Some crazy shit, right? And and she says, "Oh man, all these guys are always trying to talk to me." And I, in my mind, I say, "Yo, just wait, huh? About five more yep. years, that shit gonna dry up." Thank you. you I love saying? to see them get old. Cause yeah. they were they had that attitude when they were younger. Then now it's yeah. over, bitch. Yeah. Well, you yeah. see that on you see that you know famous chicks. They go, I'll never, for, you know, I'll never be a Playboy or a Penthouse or whatever. <laughs> they, they eighteen, nineteen years old. Them bitches get about thirty six. They be like, oh, I'll do it, but it better be tasteful. Then when they get then when they get about fifty, they be like, anybody want me to be in there? It don't got to be tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> but that by then the, the ship. <laughs> Ship sail. Ship has sail. What do you guys think of Steve Brandano? What do you think of Steve Brandano? Who's that? You know, Steve, Steve the intern. He runs the intern show. 
Uh, uh, he's he's got a wacky voice, but he seems like an okay guy. Okay guy. Yeah, he seems pretty good. I, I don't know him personally. Seems pretty cool. Oh, I'm getting a wrap up sign here. All right, man. But nice talking to you. Um, God of Thunder. <laughs> What's up? Um, you ever met Steve in person? Huh? You better just cut these goddamn phone calls short. Jimmy Clausen, you better cut these goddamn <laughs> phone calls. <laughs> but come on, we were switching topics though when we were talking. <laughs> What'd you say? Would you ask me? Um, but we asked about Steve Randano. You ever see him in person? I only heard him on the yeah, radio. Yeah, no, I told you when we was in the lobby that time when we filled in for him for the show. Oh yeah, he, oh, he, he said, said he said thanks for filling in, man. And you know, in my mind, I swear, you know, in my mind I said he got a lot of fucking nerve telling me. You know, thank you. I was joke. I was joking with it. You know, things hit me like that. I, I'm sensitive. But do you like him? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool, dude. He's cool. Yeah. All right, here's a question for you, Mike. You know who's really cool? Will. Will? Yeah. Oh, I never met him. Yeah, he's a cool dude. Uh, here's a question for you, Mike, in um, St. Pete, Florida. That. Mike Miguel. Hello? Oh, yeah, hey, what's up, guys? Hey, hey. What's <laughs> You amped up. Hey, man. Hey, y'all got the fucking best show next to Howard on on serious i gotta give you props man i'm really enjoying the hell out of it and i'm gonna miss you guys next week i know the other shows are good too but oh yeah. thanks man you guys you I'm guys a, bring it I, i'm gonna miss y'all too <laughs> <laughs> hey king i want to know where you got your wisdom about women because man the way you speak it you know i can tell it's it's for real but man i can see people being like man that's not that's not acceptable you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, man, I got, I caught hell for that shit that I was saying overnight. Oh, my God. But, you know, it's just how I feel. Like, I watch. I'm a very observant, like, I observe a lot of things during the day forever and ever. I just look and watch and, and experiences with women. And I just, it just formed of opinion. I, I You know, some women... <clears throat> Depending on what race they are, I know how they're going to act. I know how to treat them. I know all of that. You know what I'm saying? I know all of that. To but me, you got you have you definitely show. you definitely. I'm reading the newspaper. I was reading the newspaper today. A dude killed his girl or wife because she left him. Man, you got to act like you don't care, and, and the bitch will come back. She will come back. <laughs> Believe me. My my mother <clears throat> when my daughter. I got an older daughter, 23. When she was a little baby, my uh, daughter's mother, my daughter's mother, my baby mother, she said, you ain't going to see your daughter no more. Yo, I was coming to the house crying and begging and hiding in the bushes and shit, waiting for her to come home, all kind of crazy shit. My mother said, act like you don't want to see your kid. Act like you don't want to see her. And sure enough, I said, I don't give a fuck if I see my daughter or not. That's what I said. And I didn't call her nothing. Do you know two weeks, three weeks later, she said, you don't care about your daughter? Why you don't call me? <laughs> I said, yo, I'm kind of busy, man. Word up. You know, you got you know, you to put a little bass. You know, man, I can't. Because you don't give in right then. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I was trying to get by there. Say, yeah, yeah, what, what we told my I don't want to see her right now, man. I'm, I'm going to get around to it. Then you hang up the phone. Pow. Then it's going to ring again. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Then she'll come to the house with the kid. And then you still, you know, you, you got to bring it in and say, oh, what's up, baby? No, why, why, you, why you ain't answer the phone? Then you got her. You might even get some ass. So, Mike. <laughs> Mike. I tried yeah. to tell that the, guy that, wait, that was on, on Howard's show. Wait what's that here. guy's name that has some problems with his, what's that actor's name? I don't know. Oh but man! Let me ask, hey Mike, so that advice you just gave you—does that sound like you know a okay advice? Yeah, man, I can tell. And and the other night he said some of the stuff his mom said, you know, about getting a younger girl and, and bringing her up. Oh, that's, that's definitely some old old school wisdom, there, man. That's for real. Yeah, because she said you have to raise them. Their father raised them, but then you got to raise them for you. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You, you know, if you like this, you got to raise them and teach them to like that. Never mind all that. I'm I'm going to the to the store or I'm going to the club with my girlfriends. You gonna go where? Bet you gonna be in this motherfucking house. I'm going out. <laughs> Fuck is you stupid? 
Let's go to another call. Um, Eric in Te- Tejas. What's up, Eric? Hey, what's up, guys? This is actually Aaron from Texas. Sorry about the crazy noise you heard earlier. My phone was screwing around with me. What's your name? I wasn't trying to play a joke or anything. Aaron. Aaron from Texas. How you spell it? A A R O N. Oh, Aaron. Okay. Aaron. Aaron. Yeah, how's it going, guys? You're, you're not so your Good, own name. Man. First time caller. I don't often listen in the <laughs> evening, but when I do, it's on one on one. You guys are awesome. Oh, thank you, Thanks, sir. Man. Rick Perry. <laughs> Quick question for you. Um, <laughs> what, what do you what do you do with your bedding when your woman pisses on you, man? Do you just sleep in it? Do you have to make the bed? Do you do some laundry? I mean, how do you get around that uncomfortableness? No, nah, you gotta. Well, well we you, you do it on the you floor. Sleep on the couch, you lay in some pla- on the floor. Yeah, on you the get floor. Carpet shampoo or something. What do you do? No, there? I got wood floors, and then there's little. It's like a ritual. I mean, not a ritual, it's sensual. Like, it's not a ritual, like, yo, like, we robots. I just laid it, you know, those things you keep suits in, those bags, yeah. you put them down, and you cut them up. I mean, they, they're already in the closet. <laughs> they're already in the closet. <laughs> they're all, they're all, I'm a neat type of dude. I got them all folded up, my, my piss sheets. I call them piss No, no, no. I mean, it's not, court, you know, it's not like a robot. It just, you know, I don't do that all the time. I just get the urge sometimes. Damn, man. And I'm getting older still. I'm still going strong. Imagine, people are going to be missing all this great information next week, huh? <laughs> information? This is nonsense. <laughs> well, it seems like we're going to a break now, so there'll be more Black on Black coming up. Give us a call at 888-STERN-101. This is Black on Black on Howard 101. <laughs> Welcome back to Black on Black. Um, yes. What's happening, King? Well, you told me. I, I was listening to uh, Cameron's album today, my second favorite rapper, and um, I picked out a real hot track that I want to hear. I want to play for you. I know you're going to say you don't like it because I like it, but I don't be, do, objective. be objective. I'm always objective. Be objective. That's cool. Yeah, I love you too. Uh. That's your man, huh? So what, what do you give that out of, out of um, a 10-point scale? What do you give that song? A 10. I give it like a seven. A ten. Hard ten. Crazy. Sick. You know that's a little repetitive sick. though. Well, whatever, man. So we got our guest here. That that our huge guest? Big guest. He's fat farm big. What is his name? Tell the audience your name. Well <laughs> why I mean, it's me, high picture. I reckon it was in between two of my favorite people. Two black people. Yeah, you're your Oreo cookie. You're in the middle. I'm in the middle. I'm a white. I'm a white cracker, motherfucker. Oh shit! You got tough too. Ever since you moved to the Bronx. What's up, man? Yeah, I live in a fucking BX now. <laughs> I mean, I've been living in a fucking rough area on 199 Street Grand Concourse. Well, don't give out your, your whole address, man. Nah, you yeah, know what he's doing. He stalkers. ain't no punk like you. <laughs> tell him, Eric. Yeah, I ain't no punk. You like don't know stalkers, man. Tell him, tell him, come see you. Yeah, come see me where I fucking live. I mean, yo, you used to live on the fucking train. I used to take the train all the time. You know, I, I, what? What did you just say? I, 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 I used to live on the train. Yeah, I used to live on the A train for, for like used a to week. live on the train? Yeah, the A train when I, I was homeless. You didn't know that? What? When I was homeless, when I got evicted, I was living on the A train. Why? No one Are helped? you serious? Yeah. No, no one, I'm dead serious. No one, no, <laughs> yeah. one, no one helped you? No, it was before I got into the shelters that I was living on the A train. Wow. For how long? Well, I would sleep there overnight for about a week. Like they had sh- daytime shelters that you go Why to. Why you the- go to your mother's house, your father's house? Dude, I told you. I, when oh, I, oh, oh. The shit was wow. not going good. You really. <clears throat> excuse me. <laughs> it really it really is not going good for you to, to go to that length. Yeah. Man, I never lived in the fucking train. Were yeah. you ever homeless? <laughs> Once. For how long? Probably about three days. Oh, okay. But I had people help me. But so yeah. anyway, so how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Like, yo, I'm still eating like a motherfucker. Yeah, I can see that shit. Your stomach. Yo, this table is right up on your stomach. But you look good, man. You got on some new glasses. Yeah, dude, I see you. Your glasses match. Your faucets at home. <laughs> Remember that time I brought you to my house? Yeah, you got mowing faucets, man. <laughs> and they match your fucking glasses. Are they gold? They're gold. I call you faucets. <laughs> all those faucets in this house yeah, are I gold? Thought you had, I thought you had a fucking gold tooth. My, <laughs> my bathroom looked like Liberace. <laughs> it was yeah, nice? It's at the Plaza fucking hotel. How long? Nah, nah, you stayed there overnight? No, just, just for a couple of hours. And I fell on my motorcycle, remember yeah. that shit? Yeah. <laughs> so, hey, King, why did you invite him to your house? 
I don't know. How did you? No, we had a party. Yeah, yeah. We went yeah. to Vegas. Yeah. Dude, Vegas. Dude, can we talk about Vegas? Yeah, Vegas was cool. And the guy said we was going to have a, uh, a guy took us out to Vegas and wanted to do some, what, whack pack or something, some spinoff shit. Right. And we, they said they're going to give us 10000 a piece. Right. We were supposed to have an executive chef. <laughs> nothing. Fucking nothing. He said, don't bring no money with you. Right. Every day we're going to give you 10000 You're going to have your own personal chef, everything. And I guess who was the chef? I was. <laughs> I was the fucking chef. What, what do you know how to cook? I cook lobsters, steaks, burgers. I made you burgers. Yeah, yeah. Remember yeah. the burgers I made? You put scrambled eggs in the burgers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yo, we was together for a month. It was so hot. I had I was I washed my jeans. It was so fucking hot. Arizona, yo, Arizona. Fifteen minutes later those jeans were dry and we just laid them outside. No, it was wow. so fucking hot. Jeans, huh? Dry. Was was Miss Miss Howard Stern there with you? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It Anybody was, bang her while he was in the house? Zola. Yeah. yeah, he did. Well, I don't know yeah. if he banged it. I'm not going to describe wow. it. Like that. I don't know if he. I don't know. Did you ever see her naked? Did you see her tits or anything like that? Probably no. when she was. Uh, I don't remember all that. And that suntan of him. Yo, I've had, I had so many fucking yeah, clothes. See, so my dude was there for a month. It was so hot there. I almost passed out walking to Denny's. So this motherfucker took a limo right to Denny's. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't put you in a limo with him, huh? No, that's how, oh, that's how niggas roll. <laughs> Like, what are you, a comedian now? Yeah. Oh, hey. we, we can know this, this lingo <laughs> from, bro. He say nigga better than you. <laughs> and you a nigga. <laughs> Look, I just, yeah, let me tell you something. I, sh I shaved my hair so I could be a nigga like all of you. You ain't even going bald and shaved your hair off. But yeah. it looks good. You look good in the face with your stomach. I try you, to look like you. You you like a skinhead, man. Because your head is all pale and shit. <laughs> if you're gonna w take that hat off, you gotta like let the skin, the the tan go to the top of your head. Also, you're the only one that's sitting here without a job. Him, yeah, you know, I'm working right now, brother. Oh, oh that's true. Earning true. a paycheck yeah, right look, now. Okay, listen, I, listen, I know you for a real long time. Okay, yeah, you're a good guy. Listen, you you have a security license. Am I right? Right. So, what color is his pants before you go on? What color are they? Black. <laughs> See, and, and your shirt. What's that mean? No, black. Go ahead, go ahead, so go ahead. They were black yesterday. They were black uh, on Wednesday. Do you wear the same clothes every fucking day? <laughs> oh, no, of course oh, not. Oh, shit, he's snapping? Yeah, oh. yeah, your shirt looks like fucking Greg Brady's from the Brady Bunch. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn, yeah, man. Why What's going on, man? You, you? We invite you on our show so you can hey, just make fun of me. Somebody was saying something to me on Twitter. Who was saying something to me on Twitter? Oh, Jance? Well, I don't know. Yeah, Jance is going off on you on Twitter. Why? I don't know. If I were you, I would call him a person and take it up with him. W what was he saying on Twitter? He's, he's saying, tell Big Blue, tell, tell that King of All Blacks, he better keep his pie hole shut. Wow. <laughs> pie hole shut. Why does shut? everybody feel that they can do something to me? Why? You can't do it. No one can't do nothing to you, me, or you. No. <laughs> Man, I don't understand how people can feel like that. Okay, let me go back to Big Black here. <laughs> Let me see that tattoo you got. What is that? That's oh, a that's... Howard Stern tattoo. Let me see. Damn. Dude, you think white. You dedicated. Dude, you think fucking wow. niggas fuck around? No, n never. You dedicated. What's your, fa what's your favorite rap song? Oh. Lean Back. Lean Back. By, Lean Back. By Fat, Fat Joe. Joe. Yep. We fucking used to sing that song yep. every fucking night in Vegas. <laughs> we used to drink 40 ounces, too. Yo, we would what drunk brand? every fucking... I think I got diabetes in uh, Vegas. That's how I got it. Really? Yeah, because we no. was eating everything wrong and drinking and everything. Steaks. We was just... I don't know what the fuck we did in no, eating and drinking. How about you and I sing that song? Huh? Let's sing that song. What song? Oh, maybe Lean we'll back. see if we can get the um the song up. You know, yeah, we'll I remember. You know what? This nah. that song is so old. I don't even remember. I know he's going lean back, lean, lean back. back, some shit. Lean like back. That. Yeah. And you and I used to sing that well, song. Fat Joe ain't sell a record since then. <laughs> you and I used to sing that fucking song every fucking morning when we woke up. Hey, remember when we saw Fat Joe at MTV? Me and you, we was at M MTV one day, and we saw him over there. 
Yeah, because that's when you had nothing to fucking do. <laughs> <laughs> so you were with me just at the same spot, right? I, I, dude, I was working that day, No, too. you weren't working. How, was, how, fuck- how come we were both there? He said you had, you had, said, I had nothing to do, but you I, were working. I, I, come I, on, met, man. I met you after work. Yeah, okay. That was in the afternoon, man. That's like 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, listen. I'm going to tell you something. You have a security license, though, right? Right. Use it to your advantage to get a job. Go on Craigslist. Look for a fucking job. Every time you say you were 40 ounces, I'm saying, how the fuck do you afford 40 ounce fucking beer? You see me with a 40 ounce? Well, <laughs> oh, he getting paid now. He got a check for over $2,000 yeah. if I'm serious. Yeah, he but, got that money now. Yeah, but radio, you can't, listen, you can't rely on radio shows. Anything can happen on radio. No, 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 no. Right here is genius here. <laughs> I mean, I mean, seriously, you know, you gotta get a job, dude. But because of the recession, they have unemployment amped up. What is a recession? It. What is because a recession didn't affect me. What is a recession? It's, a, it's um two down I mean, quarters in a row. All right, let me ask you a question because y'all might know because I don't know. What's a mortgage? Oh God, no, don't try to act funny, man. What is? I don't this know. Guy's, what a mortgage I'm, is. I'm okay. playing dumb, man. A mortgage is, a bit, is that something where you gotta pay like? No. High no, pitch. This is a bit. It's a bit. Don't no, even it's not them. a bit. I want to know what's a mortgage because I don't have one. <laughs> Man, I don't, don't have even, a mortgage, dude. That's no, not even funny. Just, should I get one or? That's not even funny. You high, have, <laughs> don't don't high, high pitch. He's, he's trying to clown you, man. I ain't clowning him. I'm yes, just asking no, you no, what a mortgage is. If you don't have a fucking mortgage, he has a house. He knows what a mortgage yeah, is. Come on, but I don't have a mortgage on my Man, house. Is that good or bad? That's bad because you lose your fucking house. No, I don't have a mortgage. Oh, come on, man. I, I, I find I, that hard to believe. Everyone got that bit five I find minutes that hard ago. hard to believe. Let's see. Is there any calls for high pitch? Oh, oh, I guess not, huh? You know what I should put on the front of my house? Free and clear. <laughs> <laughs> high pitch. Now, I heard on, on, on uh, Howard Stern News that you've been taking courses in um, TV production. Have you finished? Yeah, I got my certificate. Yeah? And what does it say? Connecticut uh, School of Broadcasting? No, not that fucking school. What school you went to? Uh, Lehman College in the Bronx. Oh, you went there? Yeah. And what is your certificate in? What does it say? Television Studio Production. And uh, has um, the Howard um, Cern um, HTV Yo, have right, done anything with you? Well, I know Doug Goodstein says he's going to give me a chance to uh, do an internship. Yeah, but right here it says Le- Lehman. Yeah. It says Lehman School. Is that It's the college. Lehman College. Yeah, it says it's the worst school for TV production. No, it's not. <laughs> yes, it is. It's right here on this list. <laughs> so what, what did you what did you go through? What did, what kind of classes did you take? Just studio television production. I learned everything behind the scenes. Such as just give me some you know. Hey, give as, me some lingo. So, such as the work of the TV cameras, the teleprompters. You know how to work the lights in the studio and everything. Oh wow! So give me some TV lang- lingo. Like you know the, what is uh I don't know what do they call a the teleprompter. Like is there any lingo? A teleprompter, that, that's where the people read off from. I know what it, I know <laughs> the function of it, but I mean, you know, how long you been doing it? How long? I started in April and I got my certificate a few few weeks ago. How much money did it cost you? 90 bucks. 90 oh, bucks? Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. <laughs> you should have you been suspicious with yeah, it. 90, no, 90 bucks for eight sessions. Oh, my God. You got a 90 buck. Do they guarantee you the uh, job placement? The 90 no, bucks. I, I updated my resume, so maybe I'll get a job in TV. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you seem positive. I am positive. <laughs> Do you have a GED? I'm, I'm positive yeah, you won't get no When they had the IQ test here, what did your IQ come in as? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. Oh, you don't know that. Shit. I, I scored higher than Wendy the retard. How, how high did she score? I don't know. Yeah, don't try to front. You no, know what the no, number is. I, I got higher than Wendy. Yeah, but what number was it? You got it. You remember everything else? Yeah, you got a good memory. I know you know that. Yeah, you just don't want to say that. Okay, I'll give you a break. No, I'll, I'll honestly, give you a break. Those are nice. They're ray bands. They're nice. Uh, uh, copy uh, what niggas do. Oh, yo, oh. man, stop saying that <laughs> no, shit, those man. Are, are those your glasses? You're not supposed to be. Yeah. You can't be white and say nigga. No, those are his glasses. Put them on. I want to see Oh, them. man, them shits uh. look crazy. Dude, put them on for one sec. Yo, look at those glasses. They're caramel. Yo, so? Let me try them off for a Nah, minute. no thanks, What man. color are those glasses? Yeah, those are Steve Urkel glasses. No, I mean, what color are they? Tell me, they were caramel, right? They're like, it's like a caramel. light brown, light brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, with, those, with those glasses, you would look like Steve Urkel. Oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> those are nice I glasses. I mean, you, you were, were pals, man. We are pals, but I'm concerned about you, man. I'm making a job. Ooh, I'm making money right now. I'm talking working. big shit. And I got unemployment lined up also. Yeah. But, 
But yeah. dude, get a job in security. You have a license. Come on, Craigslist. I'll come over and help you. What list? Craigslist. Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? I need to get some crackling. Bro. Say that again. Go on. Go on Craigslist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go on. Craigslist. Uh, Craigs. List. No, no, say Craigs. Go on Craigs. List. That's it. That well, then do it. Don't let my, you know what he's saying. Go <laughs> no, on. Seriously, look, come on. I'll you got to get your new fitted hat, though, uh, 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 high pitch. That new, you got to get a new fitted Yankee hat. You hear me? Right. You, you got to get a new one. For what? I mean, you know what I'm saying? They, they, when they get soft like that, you got to get the new bucket. You know what I mean? Well, that's how niggas wear the hats, too. No, no. Stop saying that <laughs> shit, man. Yo, we're going to lift you up in here. Uh, you know what I mean? I give out the license to say nigga, but damn, <laughs> man, you, you, you overdoing your license, man. So you have a girlfriend now? Yeah, I got a girlfriend. No, here and there. You what? Dating, you dating some black chicks or some Spanish chicks? I used to date this black chick. Black chick are, are fucking amazing. Yeah, to you. Dude. Shit, they'll treat a white man good, but shit, me, they give me fucking attitude. They give you an attitude, give him an attitude back. Fuck Ooh, him. <laughs> he talked this shit up in here. Oh. I taught you a lot in Vegas. Didn't I tell you, teach yeah, you how to teach, treat women? You told me how to treat women, and I... What I say? What I, I say? How to style. treat them? What I say? How to treat them? Treat them like gold. No, I say that. <laughs> I just treat them like you know. Go ahead. Treat them like gold. Oh, See, he don't remember you your lesson. <laughs> I know. He forgot everything I told him. He got it the reverse and shit. Yeah, no, when we hey, went high to, pitch. No, we went when we, we when we went to Denny's. We had that nigga breakfast too. <laughs> oh come on, man! Will you stop with that bullshit? Yeah, please, All right. please, please. Hey, Kill guess it. what? High pitch. What? There's someone on the line who wants to speak to you. Really? Who? Smitty. Yeah, what's up, fellas? Love the show, man. What up? Yo, King of Black, man. I bet you uh, high pitch with that hat on looks like what happens when two cousins fuck. Huh? What? Huh? What the fuck are you talking about? You goofy bastard with that hat. <laughs> he said you goofy You look like what happens when two cousins fuck with that hat on. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, what hey, the uh, fuck? Hey, hey, high pitch, let me ask you something, man. When you, oh, I know you be man. hanging out. You and your drink, you ever, you ever, you ever have sex with two black guys? No, did you, have you ever had never sex did. with your mother, asshole? You never did? No. But tonight's your night. Get him drunk, fellas. <laughs> oh, oh, man, he yeah, calling us, suck, <laughs> Yeah, suck my dick, bitch. Oh, shit. The Bronx is doing something for you, baby. Wow. So you like your first call? I like my first call. Keep it, keep it coming. Let me ask you a question. Did you have your own show here on uh, Howard 101? I did a show with Double A. You did? Yeah. Oh, man, do they, they give every, anybody a show? What yeah. did you do? What kind of show? It was a double A. Double A had his own show. Marianne from Brooklyn had her show. Really? Wow. Yeah. Damn. Everybody had a show, huh? Yeah, but that's that, they don't do that anymore. No, but, they no. only give people talent they, with shows. You know, people with talent, they give them shows now. Right. Right? Exactly. They weaned all that bullshit out. Look, look, look. This show is fucking talent right here. Yeah, well, oh, shit. You're sitting, uh, you're sitting next to talent, Nick. Right. This is talent. Hey, hey uh, Eric, you want to give out a plug? Any uh, Twitter or anything like that? Uh, a little bit later. Tell some more phone calls about me. <laughs> hey, man, hold up, man. You ain't controlling this show. All right, fine. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Take some calls. Give it out now because ain't, ain't, ain't nobody else calling right for you. Here. That's my man right here. Ain't no, nobody else calling for you. What size is that T-shirt? Uh, like a double X? <laughs> no, it ain't no double X. Dude, that's going to be like five X and shit. Double Don't be lying. X. I got a double X shirt on myself, and yeah, that's a three X. You must, you must stretch it before you put it on like at the bottom. No, like, you oh. me, dude. I lost some weight. How much do you weigh now? You lost some weight. Yeah, wait. Turn three. around, you'll find it. But boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> how much do you weigh now? I weigh three sixty one. How about you? How much do you weigh? Uh, three. I, I weigh about like two seventy. Really? Yeah. Wow, you're still a skinny pencil dick. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Yo, he'll lose seventy pounds if he take off his nose. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take out that corny fucking faggot shirt. Oh, shit, Damn, man. man. Dude, What's up, man? Dude, how come you don't dress like him? Because I don't want to look like a clown, man. He's going With that red <laughs> shirt. Know, what the fuck is all this dude, man? Dude, this is how radio professionals dress. <laughs> Why are you sucking up that king of all blacks? He ain't going to do nothing no, that's for my you. man. That's my man. Dude, look, he, Talking he, to the microphone, please, Mr. He, production. He, I got on the canvas nights now, nigga. You know what I mean? Look, I got the canvas uptowns on. He's wearing look. a polo shirt. How come he's going wear a polo shirt? I'm trying to look professional. <laughs> a polo shirt's professional. How about, what about your T-shirt? What is that? This is a good T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> One of them joys you wash once, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it shrinks up to, like, you know, small and shit. No, seriously. Oh, shit. No, seriously, I'm really concerned about you. 
Oh, uh, let's take a phone call and see if anybody else has anything else to say. Uh, let's go to Tom in um, New York. What's up, Tom? Hey, guys. This is our last time. How you doing, man. sir? This is our, I could do a million of these shows. A million of these shows, man. <laughs> I have to say I had higher hopes for your first celebrity guest. <laughs> <laughs> well, we said he was huge, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, well, that, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> I said we had a big, huge guest. <laughs> He's sitting right here. Hey, what's up, Tom? What's up, Eric? Um, hey, you know, guys, I'm not bullshit, man. This has been a great week. I've been sick. I had a shitty week. And uh, you guys really made a big difference, for real. I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. And every show this week was an improvement over the previous show. And I really yeah. had to get something permanent. I really, I, yo, seriously, and I'm not bullshitting. I really appreciate that, for real. Yeah, I, I know you think people say that to, to bullshit. I know, I know. Do, Believe me, I'm aware I'm, of that. I'm being, I'm be, I, look, dude, it's a Friday night. I got a lot better things to do on a Friday night yep. than listen to the, to, to the radio. But black on black's on, I'm in front of the radio. And I don't say that even about Howard. I don't get up at 6 a.m. to listen to Howard because he's on all day. But when you guys are on, I'm listening. And I, wow. and I said that before we did the cool. show. I said, Dan, do people listen to the radio on Fridays? And, I, and, you, yep. and you called and said that. that I'm, no, I don't, I'm not bullshitting when I say I appreciate it. Well, I we'll, really we'll be back on the 31st. So it'll be a two-week break, so to speak. So oh, shut um, up. you got to wait for us <laughs> for more black hey, on yo, black. I, I, I got a question for you, uh, Big Black. Uh, first of all, I, I think I think you're a brilliant guy, I really do. And I think part of your brilliance is that you're so open and honest about your lifestyle. When other people would like make up lies and not admit to the things that you admit to, and I think that's that's part of like that that just that just gets in like the inner workings of your brain, which I like. I but I remember listening to you and when you called in the show in like the '90s, and you would always like tape stuff for Howard and play it back, and then you disappeared for a long time. And I think you called in once about five years ago, and you said you were in a homeless shelter. Right. And and then you know, like just tonight, you revealed that you lived on the A train. And that's, a huge, <laughs> that, that's a huge gap that yeah. I don't think people really know about, and I kind of want to explore that a bit. So I just got I just got a question. Wow, and that's you know, a long question. Like, hey, you want you want well, you want to hear you want to hear Big Black homeless on the train? No, I, I just want, no, I want to know, want that. <laughs> since, since Big Black, you don't like being around people. You say you don't like when your doorbell rings. So how did you deal with living in a homeless shelter when you have no privacy and people are all in your shit? And then what did you do with all your stuff? Well, first of all, my stuff, when I got evicted, they put all my stuff into a, a storage locker, I mean a storage spot. And I had to pay $300 a month, but uh, welfare took care of that, so I didn't have to pay myself. <laughs> and in terms of dealing with people, um, I just had to adjust. Sometimes when you're in a situation, you just got to adjust. I said, all right, this is where I got to live now. It's better than living on the train, so that, step up. So that could happen to me because I don't have no mortgage, so I could be Oh, come on, come on, man. How long are you going to keep trying this? No, I'm just saying joke? I don't know. That could happen to me. Oh, I hope it doesn't happen you to don't me. have a mortgage, but uh, did you pay for your house by any chance? No. No. Did you, did you, oh, oh, okay. Oh, I, I, I'm, I'm getting confused. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> all right so um, high pitch. What do you want to say? Now, let me, when you were homeless, did people offer you food on the train? Nah, nah. People don't offer me <laughs> oh, shit. Man. They try to stay away from you. They see that you're sleeping on the train. They try to stay so, away from you. So you look like, uh, what's that actor's name when he had that Santa Claus costume on, the Eddie Murphy uh, thing? Well, trading places? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, you mean Dan Aykroyd? He, yeah. had, he had the, the chicken and shit in his beer. No, I could, yo, I could probably act that. Was that was the funniest no. movie. That's one of my favorite movies, no, that too. Was a great yeah, movie. that was great. You want to hear me act out uh, Big Black almost on the train? No. Let's no, go ahead, go, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Let me see. Did you hang up on that gentleman? Yeah, did you hang uh, up on him? No, he hung up himself. Ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for the call, man. Ladies and gentlemen, the homeless. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry to bother you. I need money. <laughs> No, I never begged for money when I was homeless. <laughs> really? Nah. God, Wait, do it again. I like that impression. Do it one more time. Just one more time. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry to bother you on your ride home. <laughs> but as you can tell, I'm tall and black. And homeless, right? I'm homeless. I need food. I need money. See, I never give it to people that are homeless. You know why? Because they got soup kitchens all over the place. Oh, so you can God. go and get a free meal. That was a good impression. So I, that's why you never give to homeless. Never give to homeless people. They got soup kitchens for them. They got soup kitchens. I don't know. You ain't got to tell me that shit. I don't give them shit, <laughs> especially if they white. If they white and homeless, that's that's a damn shame. You got the whole fucking world, and you sitting around here. <laughs> Only thing good about being homeless and white is that they don't go bald. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't, don't wash their hair. 
No, if you don't wash your hair, you won't go bald. That's true. A lot of white guys wash their hair every day, every day, every day, and it takes out the natural oils. <laughs> it does. It does. You better learn something from me. We, we work together. Okay. I mean, you don't need to learn it because it's too late for you. You're already <laughs> bald. But if you don't, if you don't, you know, don't wash your hair so much. White guys out there listening, don't wash your hair every day. Do it every two weeks. Wash your hair every two weeks. You'll have a head full of hair. I don't wash my hair. Let's go to another phone caller, Double A in Montreal. What's up, Double A? Yeah, hey, how's it going? What's going on, guys? <laughs> Is this Eric. A- <laughs> Yo. Eric, good work getting your degree, man. We're, we're all so proud of you. How's it going? What's going on, eh? Not too much. You're not the real double A. You're, this is a fake double A. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? How's it going? Uh, wrestling. Yeah, we had sex all the time. Yeah, what's going on? You gave me herpes. What's it going? What's going on, man? Oh, come on, come on. Oh, come on. Yo, I know enough of fucking nigga on the phone. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh, come on, man. That's a white dude. Oh, this dude. You gave him herpes. He, he's talk, calling about that. <laughs> You gave him, he gave I you herpes? You 30 days later, you loved me back. I was going with this <laughs> He's even laughing at that shit. <laughs> Dude, that's a fake double A. That's not the real one. Oh, let me get rid of him then. I got rid of that, that fake. <laughs> oh, my God. What's up, what's up with these fake motherfuckers? Let's yeah. look at another guy, Jonathan Fucking in California. Shit. Jonathan in California. How's it going, Jonathan? Telling me to keep my name, they name on my motherfucking mouth. Oh, I big black guy, uh, king of all blacks, and high high pitch Eric. Hey, what's up? I just had a quick question for high pitch. Uh, high pitch. When's the last time you got laid? The last time, last time I got laid was probably about a year ago. <laughs> oh my god! All right. <laughs> what was the, the circumstances? Right, guys, thank you. <laughs> I, got, I got laid a year ago. The girl. Came on top of me and then stuck with. No, no. Head. I mean, how did you meet her or whatever? Oh, what, what was god. the situation? Another one. Hey, well. Yeah, and you, like in a chat room. Yeah, talking to the mic. Yes, and you, and then you say, "Come over to my house." No, we we met we met up, and a few weeks later we I had. Need, I need you right on that mic. A few weeks later we met up, and we had sex. Wow, Jesus! And then Christ. after you did it one time, that was it. She had enough of you. I think we had enough of each other, but I'm not going to mention her name. <laughs> did you eat the pussy? Have... Did no. you you didn't eat the pussy. No, absolutely not. So she was not attractive to you. <laughs> I'm proud of that. She was, but you know, we just fell apart. We fell apart. Fell apart. Yeah. What do you mean? Or she escaped. No, I actually, we both didn't get along, so we called it quits. But you said she was attractive, right? Kind of. But you wanted to be with her again? Would you? What, did you want to have sex with her again? No. You, why not? Because we're not together. Did no, you? I said, did you want to? After the first time, did you want to do it again? Did, did, yeah, absolutely. Did the restraining yeah. order get in the way? <laughs> no. <laughs> what restraining order? This was restraining order. <laughs> so it was on her part. She decided she didn't want to mess with you anymore. No, we got into a fight and we didn't talk anymore. She was black, white, Asian. White. Did yeah. She, she yeah. knew you from the Stern Show? Yes. Wow, and that wasn't enough, huh? She still, like, dropped your ass. Oh, well, you know, listen, we didn't get along and that's it. Okay. Damn. Dude, when, how about your sex life? How about having sex yours. with a white girl? I've never had a sex with a white Dude, girl. it's fucking great. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I heard they're pretty wild. Yeah, you want, you want, you want to get you one? I, think, no, I don't want you to give me one. How He's married. Want, if I need you to get me some pussy, I'm fucked up. No, I'm just kidding. I, don't, I would never cheat on my wife. Are you stupid? So you're faithful. Because look, most married men wouldn't wear their rings. I wear my wing. I wear, uh, I wear my wings. I, I, I wear, wear my, my wings. wings. <laughs> I'm drinking some vodka while we talking. What? Huh? Let's go to another phone caller. Steven on Brooklyn. What's up? What's poppin', Slime? What up, Slime? I'm about to crack this vodka. Uh-huh. What kind of vodka you drinking on tonight, King? You got some. Well, I wanted to rock coconut, but they ain't have none. So that's just expensive. I like what I like is uh, I like smearing off, and I like uh, absolute. Absolute's nice. Yeah, I like absolute. That's actually my favorite. But what do you have? Absolutely. Tell them what you got. I got Shvet, uh, Shvet, Shvetka. <laughs> Shvetka. That's what I got right here, the Swedish rock. I'm yeah. right now listening to the show. It's good shit. It's, it's good. I mix it with the, uh, with the, with the seltzer water. Yes. And, uh, Yo, what do I have here? Wait, hang on. What do I have here? You got s- original seltzer water. Yo. <laughs> Yo, good. So, Yo, wow, you two should go out on a date, man. You think alike. Damn, man. We think alike. Yo, you guys should go out for vodka tonight. Yo, we went out for drinks. Oh, you, we went out for drinks already. You know yeah. what I mean? We, yeah. Oh, that's my dude. And Big Black was scared to go with us, remember? Yo, he was 
scared. He had to go to Conway to buy some. Cool said, I, I, I gotta go. I gotta go food no, shopping. I, I, I did. I swear oh, to God. The fuck. I swear to God. He showed me his receipt from where he bought the shirt. He bought the shirt from Conway. And for it was five bucks. Four <laughs> bucks. We talking about? Oh God. Does that shit itch you? Yo, you got an undershirt on there. You have to wear undershirt under that. Because if you don't, if it'll you probably itch you to fucking... Dude, feel that fucking material. Oh, my God. 100% cotton, bro. Damn. You eat pork? You're Jewish, right? Oh, dude. Yeah, I eat fucking pork every day. What? Aren't you Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> so what does that mean? How can you do that if you're Jewish? Dude, I'm not fucking a religious fucking Jew. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> so did you get offended by what Andy Dick said? Fuck yes. <laughs> but now you said you're not religious though. So why did you get so offended? So if you if you died, that you have to get buried the same day. Listen, isn't that? I, I I got tattoos. When my mom first saw the tattoos, oh man, she was fucking pissed. Damn. Who's this? What'd she say? Oi, vey. She said, that "If I get tattoos, I couldn't be buried in the Jewish cemetery." Oh, I didn't know that. What's the last time you wore, wore a yarmulke? I don't wear yarmulkes at all. You, not, the you, only time I'll, I'll wear a yarmulke if, is, if I have to go to a Jewish yeah, weather. I got you. Damn, so you, you really like, ain't a Jew then, huh? He is, but he's, a, a he's not a practicing religious. I don't practice. Yeah. I feel sorry for you, man. Do you practice anything besides eating? Dude, I, <laughs> I feel more sorry for you after what you told me about living on the train. Yeah, at least like, you, you should have slept on the D train. It's better. No, the A train is like the longest tra um, train in New York, I think. That's I shame. mean, seriously, I mean. You could have called me, man. I would have put you up. <laughs> yeah, right. You could have called me or found me. I put me up where? After I, I, I finished laughing, I, I would have put you up. I would have helped you out. Hey, Eric. I love, when, I love when people are down on their luck. Hey, more black up black. That's what it is. Wait, let him go. Go ahead, Eric. Read it, read it. Eric. Read this. Hey, more black up black. Coming up, give us a call, 188-STIR-101. This is Black on Black, Howard 101. Lean back. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, go. Welcome yeah. back to Black on Black on Howard 101. My mic, yeah. I'm king of all blacks, and I got a uh, special huge guest. Yeah, what's up, nigga? <laughs> Hi, bitch, Eric. Yo, my mic is hot. See, I know a little, uh, ling I know radio lingo. You do know radio. Lingo? Yeah. I don't know radio. I know radio lingo. You're a radio professional. That's what I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's time uh, for some plugs, right? Yeah. Uh, yo, uh, see, uh, go to Twitter and, and uh, go to Twitter follow and High Pitch at, what does it say? At High Pitch? At High Pitch 2009. Hey, yeah. you read it. I can't. Okay. You can follow me at Twitter at High Pitch 2009. And I'm doing an appearance on Sunday. This will be fucking mad pussy there. Let's go. Come on. What? You're talking crazy tonight. Mad fucking pussy at the Bordy Barn in Hampton Bays, Sunday, 4 p.m. What's that Damn. at? Hampton Bays. It looks like Bays. you wrote this with your left foot. Hampton Bays is on Long Island. Now, I'm coming. I'm coming. Come with me. If I come, I, I will be able to come? Yes. <laughs> you get it? Not, not C-U-M, but C-O-M-E. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wow, this guy's quick. He did go to school. Yeah, he did go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talented. A $90 yeah, course. Ta you are talented. By the way, Joey Boots lives in my building. Who's that? Oh, Joey Boots. That's my man. He lives in my building. Oh, man, yeah, but he, he he revealed something, right? Yeah, yeah, he's gay, like you, right? Like me? Me? Like you. Oh. Who says I'm fucking gay? They, they, don't everyone says you're gay, man. I'm yeah, not fucking the fuck gay. Out of here. Yeah. He ain't get gay. I'll vouch for him. <laughs> yo, he yo, with your shirt, that's a gay fucking shirt. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't gay. Trust me. I seen him in action. Yeah? In, yep, in Vegas. Well, I don't know. Wow. That type. I, I seen him eating. What well, happens in Vegas? Stays in Vegas, motherfucker. <laughs> oh man. Yo, what happened to this dude? I check after you. It's Friday night, nigga. Right now, we're going to down. We're going to fucking drink, get drunk, and score some pussy. Yeah, I'm going to call my <laughs> wife tell her I ain't coming home. <laughs> no, I'll talk to her on the phone. I'm going to say, bitch. Get her on the phone. I'll talk to her on the air. All right. Yo, we, yo oh, we, I, 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 I want to call her, and I want you to tell her we're not coming home. Call her right now on the air. I'll tell her. All right. Let's play your song now. All right, yeah, yeah. Can we play my song now? Yeah. 
and I'm going to call my wife. And you're going to tell her. I'm going to tell her. What you going to say? Hello, Miss King. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, you got to put some bass. Dude, say, just, say, listen, say me and, me and, me and yeah. your husband is hanging yeah. out tonight. Yeah, Miss King of Wax, your husband ain't coming home. He's going out with me tonight. And we're going to have a drink and have fun. That's right. That's and get some talking. pussy, and man. Say we're gonna get some, no, I'm going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, just say, we'll just get some. We don't, don't tell her that. Yeah, but just say it. We're going to get some, and that's No, it. don't say we ain't going to get... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we call my wife, I want you to say, uh, Jesse. You don't have to say Miss King of All Blacks. Yo, say Jesse, Jesse, what's up? It's high pitch. Yes. Listen, you and... You me, bitch. Me and your husband are coming out tonight after the show. And that's it. He's not coming home, and that's it. That's it. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. If you want to find him, his phone will be off. Oh, woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We're going to do that. Let's let's uh, play this song by Cameron, another joint. Well, and I then, love uh, Cameron. I love Cameron. What song do you like if Cameron's uh, high pitch? It's like number Cameron, fifteen, right? It's a good song. What song? What song? I don't know. See, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Listen to this. Listen to this one. So fast, that nearly made a smoke. Turn around now. I'll spray your throat. Damn, that's nasty, man. Who wants to hear this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What album is this? Cameron and Votto, Guns and Butter. Just like, just like, great, one of the greatest CDs out right now. Just like King of Black says, you never hear that Howard 101, but in this show you do. That's word, <laughs> word, word up. <laughs> word is bar. Let's go to Kevin in Delaware. What's up, Kevin? Hey, what's up, Blacks? How you guys doing? Yo, is this high pitch right here? He's talking crazy tonight. Doesn't, doesn't it sound odd when you hear the same sentence? High pitch and mad pussy. It don't, don't kind of work, does it? Are you calling from 7-Eleven? Why you say that? I don't know. I don't know. It sounds like you got an Indian accent. No, oh, it no, man. Oh. Hey, uh, hey, question for you. This is more for uh, for King than Big Black. What, what, what do you think about like black guys wearing the skinny jeans and the tight oh, clothes? Oh, don't do that. And not 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 the download brothers, like the regular guys. Like that shit is whack, but, man. That shit yeah, is Big whack. Black will wear it because it's free, but. Yo, what do you think of that? That skin, yo, the skinny jean shit and all that shit. That shit is whack. That shit is whack. I, I mean, I'm not. I, I can't. I can't. I don't like that shit. It look like stockings. Like you wearing jean stockings. Let's go to Ron in Illinois. What's up, Ron? Hey, big black. I got a couple questions for you. Shoot. Actually, bro. one one one's for high pitch. Go ahead. Hey, high pitch. Hey, what's up? Uh -huh. huh? Hey, how do you feel about this bullshit with fucking Eric the Midget and calling you a fucking piece of shit? Well, you know something? He can suck my fucking dick. He can go fuck <laughs> off and fuck him. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a little fucking fag. I think he, he shouldn't be getting what he's got. He, it was better off when he was gone anyway. Uh, dude, I'll break his fucking wheelchair, too. Oh, shit, nigga. The Bronx. In you the break house. his wheelchair, huh? Yeah, the Bronx. Yo, people in the Bronx don't fuck around. <laughs> oh, shit. You heard when he. Were you listening when he talked that shit about you? I did. And you got mad, huh? Dude, I was fucking pissed off. I went to Florida, California and beat the fuck out of that senseless midget. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, this vodka got me buzzing. Let's go to Mike in Baltimore. What's up, Mike? Big shout out to Svetka Vodka. <laughs> What's up, guys? Yo, we up here drinking. It's Friday night, nigga. Where's yeah, the cocaine? Where's the yeah. Oxycontin, baby? <laughs> I just wanted to congratulate y'all on a, on a very enjoyable week, man. You guys are opposite in terms of your senses of humor and background and and work and everything. But uh, I think y'all really clicked this week, man, and I really enjoyed your show. Yo, man, thank you. I Thanks. wish I had your voice. I wish you could give me your voice to continue these shows. <laughs> Thanks if for I had your, If I had your voice in my brain, oh, I couldn't be stopped. And, and, and seriously, man, I just wanted to let y'all know, what, what do y'all think of uh, what Senator Maxine Waters, or actually Congressman Maxine Waters, said about Barack Obama this I, week? I'm going to tell you what I think. I'm not doing enough for black people. So, I'm, I'm you know, black on black show. I'm going to tell you what I think, and I'm glad you asked that because I was thinking about what she said. She supported Hillary Clinton for president. She didn't want Barack Obama. A lot of that black caucus did not want Barack Obama. If you remember, Jesse Jackson said, uh, uh, Barack Obama, I should cut his dick off. Do you remember that? Oh, he's gone. 
Well, th- th- that's that's for real, because I don't have to say allegedly. It was it was on tape. He said, I'll cut his dick off. All of those people supported Hillary Clinton for president. So Barack Obama don't got to do shit for them. And if I was him, I'd be doing the same thing. Fuck them. Wow. What about like Tavis Smiley and um, Man, Cornel West? Man, fuck all that bullshit. All that Uncle Tom shit. Motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? If I was sitting next to Barack Obama, say, man, fuck them. Wow. How about you, High Pitch? Are you, are you happy with Barack Obama? Yes. Me too. And I'm only voting for him because he's black. I'm what? not voting for him for his policies, I, all that old bullshit you got to say. No. I'm voting for him because he's the first black president, and I'm going to vote for him again because he's the first half black president. Exactly. And, that's, and, I, and, I, and I ain't bullshit. No, you wasn't. I voted for him. I too. mean, the white man going to come back. He going to come back and be the president. But right now, let me enjoy this motherfucker, Me man. too. Dude, he helped me out when I was unemployed. Ooh. How did he do it? Oh, he gave extended, extended the benefits. And he extended the unemployment benefits when I was unemployed. Exactly. Give him a, give him a, let's give President Obama a round of applause. Amen to the black people. I'll let you boy. I'm still living off of, the, off of those benefits myself. Oh, come on. Come man. on. That is sad. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the oh, fuck man. you talking about, man? He said, Yo, man, I'm sorry hanging your ass, man. <laughs> Yo, Lou, what's wrong with this? Yo, man, we ain't never come back to our show, man. Fuck you, man, <laughs> you said, asshole. <laughs> yo, but yo, but seriously. <laughs> Motherfucker. People, people, they don't talk about that on TV. Those people, I don't know about Al Sharpton, because that's my man. But a lot of them supported Hillary Clinton. A lot of them. And Hillary didn't make no fucking point at all. Hell no. She's a white fucking... Ugly cunt. bitch. Cunt. Yeah. Hey, oh, hey, God. Hey, hey, I'm not. But, but hell... Say, hey, <laughs> hey, let's go to a phone call. Lyle in New Orleans. Okay, go, <laughs> yeah, go, Hey, Lyle. What's up, Lyle? <laughs> That's my man right here. Lyle. But hell to the black people. Yo, I'm, yo excuse oh. me. I'm not acting professional, hey, but... I had a little vodka, man. I'm not acting professional. I will tell you that. I'm not acting professional. What's up, Lyle? Hey, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. Go ahead, baby. Oh, God, now I can't hear you that well. Hello? Yeah, can just you hear me? Say real quick. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead, r- real quick. Hey, hey, Eric. Yo. Hey, you used to have, that, you used to have those dogs, right? Sadie. Yeah, what about her? Did, uh, I was wondering, when, if you ever went a while without getting laid, did you ever put peanut butter on your balls and have Sadie lick them off? Uh, Come on, man. Come on. Yeah, this is a serious fucking show. <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious show. Yeah, I know. Pure ignorance. <laughs> nah, but, you know, come on. We don't, he don't deserve that tonight. Oh, hell to the black president. Amen. Yes. <laughs> dude, man, you suck it up just because you're on the black on black show. Don't be talking no, no, that dude, shit. I voted for him. That's okay. right. And I'm going to vote for him again. Fuck it. Me too. If, yo, if, it, if the country go down, I'm going down with it. And I don't got no mortgage. See, when oh, you ain't got oh, no on, mortgage, on, let me tell you something. All right, all right. We got a caller, man. Steve right. and Whitestone. <laughs> hey, Steve. Yo, what up, boys? What's going on, man? Yo, Steve, I ain't got no mortgage. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah how can we help you, Steve? Uh, good, man. How you guys doing, man? I want to just thank you guys. Very enjoyable week, man. You guys, you guys made the week go by nice. I'm working at night right now in the city. I'm a contractor, and I've been doing this job all week. And you guys made the job go by nice, man. Black, big black. Oh, you're a funny, thanks. smart, intelligent man. Oh, yeah. I love and, you, man. This dude right and, here. Oh. Thank you, sir. King, King, you're the man, boy. Straight up, you're the man. You're a funny, funny, funny dude. And Eric, you're a funny motherfucker, too. But I'm a little confused with you. <laughs> Tell me why. Know, man. Why? I'm a little confused, man. I remember you couldn't, you couldn't hold your erection with women. Wow. Hey, I don't now, know, man. I'm a little confused. King, what you think, man? What do you think about yo, it? Yo, I know, I know, Eric. And I, I trust me, this motherfucker is a smart. I don't know about him sexually. I believe me. But I know one thing. This motherfucker is smart. I'm talking about street smart. For real. Eric? Oh, that's it right there. Yo, Lou. Lou, what's up, man? Yo, Lou is going crazy tonight on the board. Call us at one eight 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 Stern one hundred one. We'll be back with more black on black on Howard one hundred one. On Howard one hundred one. Welcome back. Hey, High Pitch is still here with us, right? Yo, man. My man. Yo, my, my man. Thanks for yo. Thanks for coming through. 
Because <laughs> usually we do this off the air, but I just want to say all, on the air, thanks for coming through, and I appreciate it. Hey, thank you to my black you, brothers. You did your thing. I did my thing. You did your thing. I want to say thank you very much to my two black brothers. I'm a white man in the middle. I'm an Oreo. No stuff. doubt. No doubt. Double thanks stuff. for coming. Thanks. Th- double thanks stuff. for coming through. Hey, good luck with the show. I love you. All right. Thanks, man. Yep. And you'll be back on the Super Fan Roundtable or something? September 1st. It's a Whack Pack Roundtable. Okay. Thanks. I ain't in the Whack Pack, so I won't be there. <laughs> I will comment. I will comment. So, man, this is crazy. I, f- I almost feel sad. Like, this is a, 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 a funeral. But we're coming back. In two weeks. On yeah, August thirty first, but I want to. I, I I just want to do this from from Monday through Friday. But how are you going to fit it in with your full time job? I don't care. I quit. You I love this. I job. love the black. Listen, you are you going to tell me what I'm going to do? Oh, I mean that's what you told me in the I past. I love the black on black show. You changed really your mind then? Okay. Yes, I love it. It's in my bones, man. So I guess we got got to have a meeting with Tim and try to uh, work it out then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But they got to pay us more money, though. Well, listen, we're not going to negotiate and do all this on the air, all this begging. We do begging off the air. (laughs) (laughs) Just don't you walk off the show. But it was good. The strategy was good. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. What the fuck is you, Barry White? What's up, baby? (laughs) Yo, but are we going to end up with my song or? Nah, we already played your song, man. Huh? Let's take some more phone calls. Take a couple of phone calls. Yo, I just want to. Well, I'll give my closing comments um, in about two minutes. Oh, all right. Let's go to Balls in Pennsylvania. What's up, Balls? Uh, make it hey, quick. What's up, I, I just want to thank everybody. So make it uh, quick. I, and no, no offense to Balls, I really appreciate you listening. But I do want to say something before we leave. Oh, all right. Yeah. He, all all right. right. I'll just I'll make it real quick, and King. I just want to know what was the longest time you ever went without getting pussy. Who me? Yeah. Oh shit! A long time. Um. Maybe about a, a month. Really? Yeah. Wow, that long, huh? Because I jerk oh. off, man. I jerked off this morning. I jerked off in my car today. Oh, God. Now, what the fuck? I get horny. And then you put your hands back on the steering wheel? <laughs> yeah, well, nobody drives my car. Oh, God. Do you do you use any kind of, like, hand sanitizer? No. no. God, you're a nasty. Well, I, wanna, I, I just want to take this time. I, I, You know, I get a little sentimental. I'm a sensitive, sensitive person. <laughs> I was drinking some vodka tonight, so. Excuse me for not being professional, but I want to thank everybody. I, I, first, I want to thank Howard Stern for acknowledging what we have and 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 my talent and your big, talent. No, I mean seriously. Okay, our talent. Seriously, huh? to get paid to do something means you have talent. It doesn't mean that they're trying you out. It doesn't mean all that. It means that you are professional now. And I appreciate everything Tim Sabian, Jim McClure, Lou. Lou gives me energy. Sweet Lou. engineer gives me energy that I've, I've, and Big Black, I love you. And, and you're a good dude. And I appreciate it. And, and Howard said, liquor brings the truth out of people. And I was drinking some vodka tonight. And I want to say that I love y'all and I really appreciate this. You know what I'm saying? I miss my mother. My mother died, and I miss her dearly. But I just want to say I thank y'all for listening, and I wish I could do this for 30, 40 years. And I thank High Pitch Eric for coming in, and he's a good dude. He's very intelligent. He's not the person that you think he is. He's smart as hell, and I and I love his glasses, and, and I just want to thank y'all, man, seriously. I'll see you on Twitter, and we'll be back on the radio again. But every day, August thirty first. Yes, but I miss every day. I could do this every day for seven hours. I could be on this radio because well, I got that much to say. I'm that brilliant. Well, let me also give some thanks too. First of all, I want to thank our producer, Jim McClure, who um, helped us um, guide us through all our episodes, fifteen episodes. Like you said, I want to thank Sweet Lou, who's here from the Pharrell Show. And also the other um, guy from the Pharrell Show Mafia who was here um, the other couple of days this week. And our board ops and call screeners, Matt and Al, who are yeah. with us all the time. Yeah. 
And once again, like you said, the, the big shots, um, Tim Tim um, Sabian and I Howard thank, Stern. I want to thank uh, Pharrell for going on vacation. <laughs> Seriously, because we wouldn't be here. Yeah, and we, we've never met him, but um, thank you for letting us for use going you on, on your studio. No, not, thank you for going on vacation. That's it. I'm serious. Yeah, well, Go. all right. You did that, mm-hmm. and and we did our thanks. Yes. How, who, who do you and um, who else you want to thank? How about Robin? I want. Oh, definitely. I want to thank. Oh, I want to thank the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful black women on the face of this earth, Robin Quivers. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? And just don't lose no weight, please. God, don't. Just stay as you are. And she's working on getting her own sh- her own show here, huh? Oh, man, really? Yeah, she's working on it. I wish I would be a guest on that show. I could get serious. I could do, I, yo, you don't know how phony I am. I could be serious when I want to be. But I just want to thank everybody, man. Thank all the callers. Thank the Stern Fan Network. Oh, Stern yeah, Fan definitely. Network. Yeah, Stern Fan Network. They got, yo, man, I love them. I, and uh, Mutt, I gave Mutt my email address. And <clears throat> he's going to link me up so I can post on there. And thanks to Twitter, thanks to the guy who invented Twitter, so I can talk to people on Twitter, because I love that, man. Every time I wake up, I go on Twitter, man. You know what I'm saying? Sleep is the cousin of death. Stern Fan Network, though, they really do a lot for us. Yeah, no, it's not so much what they do for us. I just love them, man. Love what they do. Word. Love what they do for us. I like that. Well, they show us a lot of love. Yeah, they show us a lot of love. That's what it's about, man. It's about love, man. And once again, we, we'll be back on the 31st of this month. And I love you, Captain Jenks. <laughs> Word is born. I do. Captain Jenks, you love him. Hopefully, you'll get your, your shot at, at a special. No doubt. And, um, you know, things are happening at this station, so who knows? <laughs> Maybe we're happening, huh? Finally, somebody discovered the king of all. On a daily all, message? The king of all blacks, nigga. Yeah, finally. It took me to help you get put on. I love y'all, man. Peace.